there were well over 2,000 names for ancient Egyptian gods. Some images depicted gods and goddesses with the head of an animal, and body of a human. Animals were chosen to represent the powers of the god. Let's begin, with Bastard. She was the goddess of protection of joy, love, pleasure, and pregnant women. In Egyptian mythology, the sacred cat is the animal incarnation of the goddess. She was depicted as the breed, the Egyptian Baladi. The superior breed, still found in Cairo today. Anubis. He is the god of mummification, and the afterlife. He was portrayed to have the head of a jackal. The African jackal is now called, the African wolf. After a 2015 genetic analysis, Anubis is now referred to as having the head of a wolf, instead of the head of a jackal. Ra. He was the sun god. Ra took the form of four different animals. A hawk. A beetle. A snake. And a ram. All considered powerful animals. Geb. He is the earth god. His sacred animal, was a goose. The goose is also the hieroglyph for his name. Egyptologists believe that his relationship with the goose, symbolized lush life. Hathor. She is the goddess of love, joy, music, and dance, and is depicted as a cow. The cow symbolizes motherhood. Often, you will see people drinking milk from her, in her hieroglyphs. Sekhmet. She is the goddess of war, and battle, seen as a lioness. She was often seen in red, symbolizing the color of blood, while her incarnation of a lioness, symbolized power, and protection. Horus. He is the sky god, war god, hunter's god, and god of kingship. He is most often depicted as a falcon. The name Horus means, the one far and above, indicating the importance of the falcon symbol. Hecate. She is the goddess of fertility, and childbirth. Hecate is depicted as a woman, with the head of a frog. The frog is the ancient symbol of fertility. The frog is also a symbol of renewal, and water, in ancient Egypt. Thoth. He is the god of wisdom. Thoth is depicted as an ibis bird. The ibis bird is still a sacred animal in Egypt today. Thanks for watching.